Well, hello again. I hope everyone is uh, staying cool if it's as warm where you are as it is where I am. Uh, we had 103 degrees here Fahrenheit yesterday, so it's been pretty warm. So I'm staying inside and solving puzzles. Um, before we get to the Sudoku that I'm going to do today that I think looks like a lot of fun, uh, there's something else that I want to mention, and this is not puzzle related, but um, it's uh, me related. Um, I actually made a short film and we just released it and I'm pretty excited about it. So uh, probably put a little bit maybe right up here showing uh, a little bit of the film and I'll leave a link in the description where you can go and watch it. It's just a short film, 15 minutes. Um, and I think it came out pretty good. Take a look, let me know what you think. I'd appreciate it. And uh, But now we're gonna get on to today's puzzle, which is called Around the Horn. It's by Farmy, and uh, I suppose it's called Around the Horn because we've got all kinds of different constraints in here, so you're kind of just hitting everything. Um, so they're all standard constraints. So if you're used to the normal uh, Sudoku variants, then you'll, you've got the rules down. There's nothing weird in this. Uh, the, the, the outside clue here, the 15, is a sandwich clue, so that gives you the sum of the digits between the 1 and the 9. Um, I'm not really going to explain all these variants. If you're not familiar with some of them, uh, go look at some of my previous videos. Um, but just quickly, we've got ratio dots. The blacks are 1 to 2. The whites are consecutive dots. The X has to sum to 10. Square is an even. The circles are odd. The quadruples have to have those digits in the surrounding cells. Arrows sum to the number in the circle. Thermos increase moving from the bulb. And the killer cage has to sum to the number in the corner and we do have a, a a cell here that's a maximum it has to be bigger than the cells around it so that's the rules uh there are no negative constraints as well so uh, i leave there's a link in the description where you can try this puzzle um and i'm going to give it a try now so we'll see how it goes um so i i naturally just am drawn to the dots here because anytime you have two black dots in a row uh, so for ratio dots, it's got to be 1, 2, 4, 8, 3, or 6. But the, with two of them in a row, you obviously can't have 3, 6, because it would have to be 3, 6, 3, or 6, 3, 6. We'd have to repeat. So these have to be 1, 2, 4, or 2, 4, 8. And so the middle one can't be a 1 or 8. It has to be 1, 2, 4 in some direction, or 2, 4, 8 in some direction. But this one actually can't be a 1, because it's got a white dot connected to it, and you'd have to have a 2 in both places. So we can't do that, which means this one can't be a 4. And and whether we have 1, 2, 4, or 2, 4, 8, we're using three of those four digits. So we're only going to have one of those four not used there, and it's going to be the 1 or the 8. And you can't put a 1 or an 8 in here without a 2 or a 4. So this has to be 3 and 6. Now, that's going to limit somewhat what we can have here. Because if it's 2, it can't have the 3. So it would have to be 1. If it's 4, it can't have the 3. So it would have to be 5. You could have 7 or 9 still. One, two, four, three, six. So... 2, 3, 4, and 6 are used up, because you have to have 2 and 4 somewhere in here, with 1 or 8. So, so this consecutive here, it can't be 1 and 2, can't be 2 and 3, can't be 3 and 4, could be 4 and 5, can't be 5 and 6, because we already got 6, 6, 7's out. Could do 7, 8, or 8, 9, I suppose. Okay, lots of options there still. Um, this 3 and 6 is going to limit our arrow here though, right? Because, yeah, a 3 cell arrow, so this has to be 6, 7, 8, or 9. It can't be 6, because it would have to have 1, 2, and 3. So, 1, 2... Right, and so the only things that can go on an arrow, even if you have 9, you can't have anything greater than a 6. So these would have to be from 1, 2, 4, and 5. And so you're going to have to have a 1 or a 2... And in fact, you have to have a 1 and a 2, because if you didn't have a 2, you would have 1, 4, 5, which is 10. If you didn't have a 1, you would have 2, 4, 5, which is 11. So you have to have a 1 and a 2 with a 4 or a 5. So that's going to be 7 or 8. So we have the 1, 2, and 3 already taken. Ah, which then means this thermo 
is going to have to start at least at 4, at a minimum. And it can only go up to 7. We can't use a 6, because we have the 6 there. So this is 4, 5, 7, 5, 7, 8, and 7, 8, 9. But actually, this can't be 5, because there has to be a 4 or a 5 on this arrow. And for that to be a 5, this has to be 4, and you can't use 4 and 5. So that can't be 5, so this can't be 7. So this is already pretty restricted down here. 2, 4, 5. This can't be 2 or 4, so the 4 has to be there or there. So if this is 1, 2, 5, this is 4. If it's, But if it's 1, 2, 4, the 5 doesn't necessarily have to be down here. 8, 9. Okay, what about this arrow? So we've got three, yeah, but we can use four or five. So we could have three, four, seven if this was an eight, yeah. Or three, five, eight if this was a seven, or three, six, nine, or you can't have four, five, nine. Does this have to have a three on it? We can't use one or two. We can only use four or five. So yeah, if it didn't have a three, the minimum you could do is four and six, which would be 10. So this has to have a three on it. So three, three. So there's definitely a three down here. But we don't really know where on this thermo the three would go yet. Ah, well, we said that this had to be four, five, or seven, eight, or eight, nine, but we can't do seven, eight anymore because that would take away all our options here. So this has to be 4, 5, or 8, 9. So if this is 1, 2, 4, then this is 8, 9. So 1, 2, 4, 5, 8, 9. Or 2, 4, 8 <clears throat> with 4. Oh, if this is 2, 4, 8, right, if this has an 8, then this has to be 4 and 5, because it can't be 8 and 9 anymore. But we can't use a 4. This is a 2 and a 4. Oh, I forgot. There's a, two, there's a 2 and a 4 on this, no matter what. So this can't be 4 or 5. This is 8, 9. This is a 7. That makes this a 1, 2, 4. This is not a 4. There we go. Um, so 8, 9. Uh, and the 8, 9 means this has to be 1, 2. One, two, four. So this has to be a five. This is going to be seven, eight, nine, five. So now, uh, two, two. So there has to be a two on here, and there can't be a one. So the only place the two can go is here, because for it to be farther along the thermo, it would have to have a one below it, and we can't use a one. So that's a two. Can't have a three. This is going to be. 4, 5, or 6, can't be 5. So this is 4 and 6, and we know the order because it's a thermo. This now has to be 3 and 5, which makes that an 8. Uh, what do we have left here? 6 and 9. So we have 1, 3, and 7 in that order because of the thermo. Okay, now... What about this X? Because this 2, 1, and so we can't do 1, 9, 2, 8, or 3, 7. That's got to be 4, 6. What about this one? Oh, that one can be anything. Well, it can't be 4, 6, but it could be 1, 9, 2, 8, or 3, 7, because the 5 isn't going to limit it. But we don't have too many options up here, so 3, 5, 8, and 9. Yeah, I'm not going to put those in yet. I think that's just going to clutter the grid. Uh, let's see. But well, we know there's two right here because there has to be a two in one of these four and there has to be a two in one of these four. So it's got to be in the middle there. And this square sees the four and that two. So this is a six or an eight. Um, one, three, and five, three, seven, and nine. This is odds. And we already got a few. This one can be a lot of things though. What about... What if we add this? So 20, 33, 
So these middle have to be 12, because altogether the box has to equal 45, digits 1 through 9. So this is 12, and we can't use 3, 4, or 8. So can we do... So one... You'd have to have a 1 or a 2, obviously, because 5, 6, 7 is way too big. So 1... Five, six would work. What about two? No, you can't. If you do two, um, the minimum you can do if you have a two, and not if you don't have a one, basically. If you don't have a one, the minimum you can do is two, five, six. So you have to have a one. Okay, hold on. Let me think about this differently. You have to have a one. We know that. Because two, five, six is too big. You have to have a 1, so then we need 11, which could be 2, 9, or 5, 6. Okay, so it's 1 with a 2, 9, or a 5, 6. So there are a couple of options, but this one can't be a 1. Um, 16. You could do a 3. Three five eight would work. Is there anything else that's gonna work there? If you did, yeah, because you can't. Five and eight are the the two biggest numbers you can use because we've already got six, seven, and nine over here. So you can't do anything less than three because you'd have to. If you move the three down to two, you'd have to increase one of the other ones. And if you increase the three to four, you could decrease one of these, but it would have to be the four, the five decreasing to a four, and you can't have two fours. So three, five, eight is the only option there. So this is a one that gives us two and four over here. So now we have a two here and a two up there. So there's a one and a two in here, which then means it's one, two, nine. This is not a nine. And let's hope that our remaining digits add up to 17, and they do. That's good. Three, nine. What else is over here? Three, three, eight, nine. So these are six, five, five, six, and seven. Five, six, and seven. And this one has to be bigger than all of them around it. So it, just in these three, it obviously has to be the biggest of those options. So we get seven, six, and five. And now this can't be an eight or a nine because it would be bigger than the seven. Three, eight. Uh, oh, and the two here. We said the two had to be in row eight or column eight so this has to be the four and the two which then means the four has to be over here and ah the one has to be over here so this is a one two pair what about the th three oh the three and the seven both have to be in column seven so that's going to give us a three seven pair two three seven four so that's everything that the quadruple clues give us I think. Okay, so. Oh, the seven here gives us the, the order of the three and the seven. So, two, four, two, four five, eight are in those. Ah, and the eight can't be here, so the eight has to be in one of those, which means this has to be a six. Five, eight. Two, four, five, eight. I'm gonna write those in. I know it's gonna maybe clutter the grid a little bit, but since I can remove one from each of them, I'm just gonna do it. Uh, oh, and this can't be, oh, this can't be two or four, so this is a five. See, sometimes, sometimes writing things in can help. Four and six, this gives us an eight. Sometimes it clutters the grid too much. Sometimes it actually helps you see things. So it just kind of depends. Five. There's a five down here. Two. What do we? What do we got here? One, two. Three. So four, six, eight, and nine. The eight has to be here because it can't be over here. So this is four, six, and nine. This one can't be four. We got a six, nine pair. So this is one, two, four, five across here. 
Um, oh, the six is going to give us the three and the six there. Uh, across the top, we're only missing three. So three, five, and nine. This can't be five. This can't be three because of the three and the five down here. One, three, five, seven, nine. Seven has to be over here. Five has to be... Ah, the five... These fives put a five there, but there's a five right there, so the five is at the top. So one, th one three, seven, nine. This can't be three. This can't be three. Or seven. Oh, or one, because of the one, two pair. That's a nine. Which is going to give us the three. And we have a one, seven pair there. Okay, what about this X now that we've got some more digits? We can't do 1, 9. We could do 2, 8, or 3, 7, couldn't we? Can't do 4, 6. So, so 3 in the middle. There's definitely a 3 down here, but it doesn't necessarily mean... There's a 2 and a 3 down here somewhere. So one of them is there. So this is a two or a three. Because these twos put a two down here, and these threes put a three down here. Only one of them can be on the X, so the other one has to be right there. Ah, the nine. There we go. Nine, eight. Now this can't be two, eight. That's three, seven. Gives us the two. Three, seven also gives us the one and the seven over here, and that's a nine. This is one, five, and eight. Let's see, the 2 and the 9 gives us the 1 down there, which removes that. So now this has to be a string of 3, so if it was 4, it can't be 5 because of that one. So it would have to be 4, 3, 2. It can't be... Th right, so it can't be 4. This is a 5. It's either 5, 6, 7 or 5, 4, 3. It can't be 3. So it has to be five, six, seven. That six is going to give us the nine and the six, which is going to give us the nine over there. And the six is also going to give us the four and the six. Uh, this can't be a one or a five, so it's an eight. This can't be a five. This can't be a six or a seven. That also can't be an eight up there. Three, four. Getting a bunch of pairs here, which are probably going to be disambiguated by this white dot, I'm guessing. But we shall see. Two, four. All right, so what's left in the row here? One, two, four, nine. This, oh, this one can't be a four. That's one, two. So we have a one, two pair. So this is three and eight. So this can't be one. Three with a two and a four, two or four, or an eight with a nine. And so, how do we finish it off? Oh, of course, the 15, the sandwich clue. I forgot about the sandwich clue. So, we've got the nine. So, eight and three is 11. We need four, and then the one to make the sandwich here, which is going to give us two, one, four, two, one. Uh, this can't be one or four. Uh, and then the one here gives us five and one. The four gives us four and six, uh, which then that five up there gives us the eight and the five. And the six gives us the seven and the six, which then gives us the three and the seven. And that three is going to give us eight and three. And the white dot makes that a nine and two and nine and two. All right, there we go. That was Around the Horn by Farmy. Um, that was a fun puzzle. It's kind of fun to use a lot of different constraints sometimes. Sometimes it can really clutter the grid. Uh, but if they work together well... Um, and if they're, you know, you kind of had them separated out. So it was thermos here and arrows here and crop key up here. It wasn't all a mismatch. Um, 
And so it, it wasn't too hard to keep track of everything. And especially if you're using standard rules, if you had a whole bunch of different constraints and they were all weird and had special rules, that would be a problem. But if you know all the normal constraints, it's not too bad. And that was a lot of fun. How I did end up essentially, you know, kind of working my way around the horn. I sort of started up here and went down and around and I didn't, I didn't actually realize <laughs> maybe the, the name is a clue to how to solve it, but uh, all right, so there you go. That was Around the Horn by Farmy. Uh, let me know if you tried it, if you solved it, how long it took you, if you thought it was easy, hard, fun, not fun. Um, be interested to know what everyone thinks. And I'll uh, go, go check out my short film and let me know what you think of that too. I'd appreciate any feedback. Um, and I'll see you guys again soon. Thanks. Bye.